Welcome back to OmniFit TV, this is your host Omar speaking, and today's video is about Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I'm going to be as expressive as I can be when I say Ole is a mediocre manager, he always has been and he always will be if he retains his current, I'm not going to say style because there is no style, there is no identity. He's an absolute faceless figure on the touchline. There's no backbone, there's no spine, no tactics, no organization, nothing. The man has no idea what he's doing. Seriously. The man has absolutely no clue what he's doing. He's playing football manager. He has always been a mediocre manager. And even when he signed for United, people were excited. Lord knows why. He did well in the league. He's, he seems to have the temperament to do well in the league. But he always falls short, and it's obvious. I think the Europa League final was enough of a indication that United should have sacked him. The man has no guts. It's that simple. If you aren't organized, if you don't know how to motivate your players, if there's no identity to what they're doing on the pitch, week in, week out, and somehow people put up with it, and you're one of the biggest clubs in world football, if not argu arguably the biggest in England, what? What then? You have someone like Conte who's been a free agent for months, and you give Ole this war chest to spend in the summer, brings in all these players, and he's outplayed by every single team that he's come up against, as usual. Sometimes the team does well, okay? And you always have to give them the benefit of the doubt. That's always, the, the game of football is like this. Sometimes the means don't justify the end, and sometimes the end itself doesn't justify the means. And I've always been critical of him. You know, I have never once thought that he had the the stones to take United to a league title because he does not he's not serious enough he's really naive and that can change it can change if given the time maybe that'll change maybe he'll prove me wrong I'd like him to prove me wrong but he's not doing that he hasn't done that for years now he's yet to win a trophy he reached a European final and lost out to Villarreal on penalties the game should not have gotten to penalties in the, in the first place. And I go back to that because that is his defining moment as a manager. The loss to Villarreal on penalties in the Europa League final is currently his defining moment as a manager. And it seems to me that he still has yet to learn from that experience. Not because of last night's loss, but because of what keeps leading up to situations and results like that one. He's not good at his job. He really is not good at his job. And I've said this to multiple United fans, and I've said it myself multiple times to other members of Omnifoot. And they agree. The man is not a good manager. He doesn't know what he's doing. And a team like United should actually have the stones to go for a better manager. The signing of Ronaldo was huge. It tipped the scales back in favor of United as a brand, as a club. And look at the manager. It's all it's gonna sell short. You know, even if they get to anything this season, with the way he's been approaching things, if he does not change, that'll still be laughable. It'll still be a joke. You can only get so far with individuals leading your team. If you're not doing much in terms of management, then just stay home. And I'm not a United fan. Everyone who watches this channel knows who I support. It's right there, for God's sake. But I'm all for what's good for the sport. This is not good for the English game. 
And it's been apparent in general that there have been managers over the years in Europe who have approached the game with the same recklessness and lack of identity, but have achieved success. And I take issue with that personally as a fan. I still take issue with it. And I'll just stop here for now, for this video. Because I just had to air out my opinion on the situation. Because seriously, to all United fans who watch this channel, if you support Ole, please let me know why. If you don't, also let me know why. Maybe I'll learn something. I'm sure you guys follow this man a lot more meticulously than I do. But from everything I've seen in the past couple of years, he just is not measuring up. If you like this video, please leave a like and uh, comment. Let me know what you think. Just like I said prior, uh, I like there to be social discourse in the comment section. Follow us for more content. I'm hopefully going to start posting daily YouTube videos again, as of today. And, uh, you know, the links to our social media accounts are in the description below. And I will see you next time the whistle blows. Cheers, everyone. Thank you for tuning in.